He's like, come here. Let's dance a little bit. He doesn't even know this is the end of the video. He doesn't know he's the end of the video. He doesn't know it's the end of the video. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. What is up, guys? Here with us, your boy Kagi, back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you Bitmates. Bitmates is an MMORPG on the Treasure DAO ecosystem on the Arbitrum network. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the most exciting MMORPGs in the crypto world because this game has been building for quite a while. I played this game back two years ago when it was really, really early. But as you can see right now, it has so much things that you can do in this game. And the land airdrops are coming very, very soon for the people that hold bitmates the little monkeys that you see on screen now these bitmates are actually not that expensive let's jump into all of the details in this game we're gonna walk through the game so make sure you guys like make sure you guys subscribe we're almost hitting 100,000 subscribers so we're gonna need your help and make sure you guys turn on notifications let's jump right into the video All right, so let's jump right into it. The first thing you have to do is go to bitmates.io. You can start playing right away. Do you do not need any NFT to play this game? If you do want to get an NFT right here, these are the little monkeys that you can get. There's different species, different rarities, and they do matter because there's going to be a land airdrop very, very soon to every single one of these monkeys. Now, right now, it's going for 0 0.07 in the market, $139, and you might find it a little bit expensive for some of you, but if you really think back into pixels and other games that I have talked in the past, some of these NFTs can go for a lot of money in the future. Now, I do see a lot of potential in this game. This is not financial advice, but I bought a bunch of Bitmates myself because I already kind of knew about this game. I, I was kind of waiting to see how this game would evolve in the future. And we are in the future now, and it looks absolutely amazing. Now, there is a wiki that would tell you absolutely everything about this game. So we're going to use it a lot in this video. So let's go through it right here. You can see land and NFT guide. So what are the benefits of owning one or multiple Bitmates? Play directly with your Bitmain, mixing and matching trades across all Bitmates you own, ability to earn NFTs in game, ability to loot tickets from gathering resources when a ticket event is live, ability to drop items from your inventory on the floor in the game, unique display badge in game and on Discord, uh, free land plot. This is one of the best uh, value propositions of this, uh, which you can visit, visit in game, monthly points to spend in cosmetic shop. So you do get a lot of value. We don't know if there's going to be a token in the future. It could be a lot of these games are not saying if they're gonna drop a token um just for purposes of maintaining the mystery right all right so this is kind of how lands are going to look it is kind of like a separate game but it does connect to the main game it does connect to the main game this is like your personal spot where you can farm do different things but a lot of this stuff you can actually bring it to the main economy of the game now let's run an example of a bit made that you might want to buy for example we got this one right here the number is 1715 you would go over here to this link and then change it to 1715 boom you press enter and you start searching all right so this one is frigid frontier and northern frontier so if we go right here we can see that northern frontier is the most common is the most common region now there is a sub region um right here in this in this paper right here does not have the sub regions and the combination of sub regions but basically northern northern is pretty common it's a pretty common region um so if you do find something at the floor if you find something at the floor for example 4703 let's see let's do another test 4703 boom 4703 this one is nature's embrace cinder summit let's see if that one's a little bit more rare so we do have um nature's embrace only 357 of these so there you guys have it 3.57 percent so not bad for being in the floor that's just an example right all right so let's talk about bosses before we go into the game as you can see there's a bunch of bosses you have one two three four five six five five bosses you got the bosses drops right here and this wiki has a lot so you can see this game has a lot of juice it has a lot of content it has a lot of content it's still very early in the game to be honest not a lot of people are playing it yet but it is it is juicy it is pretty juicy um this actually explains how you can beat the boss where the boss is located in the map so pretty nice right here wiki that i will be using myself to kind of get through this and kind of learn the game now we also got the npc shops right here you got wilson pascal rusty dabble benoit jattery shop elda so all this 
mother suckers are basically around the map and you can use this wiki to basically look around the map so you play the game you kind of look where they're at so if you need anything you can use this wiki to basically kind of help you and assist you now this is gonna assist me a lot because i'm pretty new to the game all right so very simple you're gonna start the game you're gonna connect your wallet or you can do it with your email if you're gonna play for free but if you do have nfts you want to collect your wallet so we're gonna go ahead uh we connected our wallet right here and actually we're gonna sign the transaction to to log in all right cool so right here you can choose a server we got east we got west and we got brazil as well you know quite quite a few people playing right now pretty nice pretty nice we're gonna join the east server we're gonna hit play all right perfect now i get to choose my bitmates as you can see i have quite a few boom 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 i'm not really sure yet which ones are the best um i'm still trying to figure it out but it's all good um i really like this one i like how it looks so i'm gonna go with this one boom all right so before we get started let's actually go through the entire ui of the game so right here we have quests you got daily quests main quest side quest we have the bag right here your inventory we have equipment right here you can see the equipment and kind of like the stats that it gives you depending on what you have right now i don't have much equipped so i don't have much stats um right here we have our levels in different industries like combat melee range fishing lumberjacking blacksmithing and all that good stuff then we have uh over here friends i only have one friend hey what's up friend we have tribes which is probably going to be guilds right here you can switch your bitmate um over here you can redeem rewards right here we got settings of course um right here we got controls if you guys want to take a look at this and see how everything works in terms of uh keyboard and then over here we got some health i imagine this is some mana right here um and this one i'm not really sure what it is right here you can respawn and it will take you back to the main spot where you respawn when you die right here we have the chat on the bottom left very nice and that is pretty much it right now for the ui all right so let's go ahead and explore a little bit right here we have some crafting you can craft different tools with different rarities so you do different you do need different levels right here we have some cooking cooking different foods obviously to regenerate your food um your health i mean um right here we have the bank the inventory so you can move things over there right here we do have some forgery we have weapon forgery of course you're gonna need different levels so you do have to fight your way through this and kind of level up of course like anything else right here we have the kiln um in this one you can you see craft different kind of uh, materials like ironites and stuff like that so let's get started let's actually start walking around i have not done much right here we have the quest we have daily quests but for example we have daily quests so if i click on this you're gonna see items required i need 39 of these i have done 36 so i can just basically go and find some mines you can use the wiki uh to find the spot for different mines um and different resources and npcs like i showed you at the beginning so for example i'm going to start mining right here some resources to be able to f complete that quest one of the things that i do like about mining resources is that you can leave your character kind of doing it right once the mine is depleted um, then you can just move around and pick up the things right so i really really like that that you don't have to like click 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 that's really nice from bitmates um, they understand the pain points of some of these mmos you know one thing is out of out of mmos right like everything is automatic that's horrible too but there are certain things in an mmo that should be automatic and this is one of those so this is really smart all right cool so we're done here with this mine let's pick this up let's see if our quest is done right here a hundred percent now we have to return this to the npc and that is where the wiki comes through now we go npcs we know as wilson where is wilson located so we are around right here so i have to walk all the way over here and go return that to wilson but we're just gonna head over to the npc boom boom i absolutely love i absolutely love the artwork in this game i absolutely love it so what's up wilson what's up my boy here for your daily goods you asked for oh thank you godness i have been running out of stock lately 
Here's a little bit of coin for your trouble. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's see what Wilson actually has in store right here. Browse shop. Okay, we got some wood. Uh, let me take my face out of the way. We have some fish, etc., etc. So you can buy a few things here. Very nice. Let's actually fight some of these monsters. Right here, we, I know we have some. On the top right, you can see you can see that we have monsters so left click to hit them you can actually move hit and move i like that a lot that you can do that so it's you know so you don't get <clears throat> hit that much very nice you can see the hp up here on the on the left side boom 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 perfect and we can actually change if we press i we can actually change to another to a ranged weapon let's go ahead and equip that one um and we can do it from far away you know, just be a little bit of a of an annoyance to these mobs. Just do everything from far away. So far, this looks to be like the best weapon, I guess. You know, at least at the beginning. Because you can just shoot it from far away and not get hit. Alright, so we got my friend right here. Um, one of my followers. Um, or fans. Are you a fan, Levi? I don't know. I don't know. Let's walk around. Let's show the people, bro. Let's show the people. Uh, he has no idea how this is going. I just told him in chat, like, let's walk around. Let's show the people what's up. Uh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So looks like we can fish here. Yes, we can fish right here. Level is too low. Require level 28 fishing. So I guess we got to find another place where we can get like lower level fishing. Okay, look, we found uh, we found some experts here. Oh, here's the NPC that I have to turn something into. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool. Um, we got another NPC, I guess, here. Elda. What's up, Elda? Let's see. What's Elda doing? Okay. This is like the chef of the town. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we can find another NPC. I think there's a, like a f the fishing NPC. If we keep going this way. Oh, run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Oh, my God. Leave my run. Come on, ah! Yeah, let's talk to the fishing NPC. Let's see, Pascal. What's up, Pascal? What's what's cracking here? This is the fishing. Uh, yeah, big dream fisherman. Let's see if we can fish a little bit here. Can we fish? Oh yeah, yeah. This is like level one fishing here. Nice, 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 nice. There we go. Some XP. Love the fishing mechanic here. Love the fishing mechanic. Sometimes the fishing mechanic in some games are absolutely dog. You guys know. You guys know the fact that we can just sit here lay back and kind of let it flow let it fish hell yeah anyways guys this is the end of the video you guys already know um go explore yourself i'm gonna leave you all the resources down below i need to explore myself i need to get better um in understanding the game make sure you guys do join our discord i am going to create a channel in our discord if you guys are going to want to participate in this mmo um, I will be connecting to this MMO uh, at least like one hour a day. So um, I'll just be there in the channel. Hopefully some of our other team members also jump into this MMO and we can have like uh, actually a lot of fun. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys comment. We're almost heading to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, Levi, for helping me out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, Levi, 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 come here. Let's dance a little bit. He doesn't even know. This is the end of the video. He doesn't know he's the end of the video. He doesn't know it's the end of the video. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.